Hey guys, it's Danny. Okay, we're doing this. Today we're gonna make a greenhouse tour. I think you've already kind of figured out how this greenhouse looks like, but let's make an official tour. Mind you, yeah, the greenhouse is not finished yet. I would have preferred to make this tour when everything was done and nice and how I wanted it, but that's not gonna happen very soon. So keep that in mind. I'll tell you what I intend to do with certain areas. So yeah, let's start with this corner. It's my kitchen. Well, it's not my kitchen, but I do have a sink here and a cabinet with all sorts of goodies and supplies for orchids. So you've already seen my sink in other videos. I do have here my stuff that I usually use almost on a daily basis. Of course, the paper towels. And here, <laughs> these are some trash cans, yeah. But what they hold, there we go. We have some soil and this has some ceramics. So this is just a way, easy access for me to just use this whenever I need it. So this is my working surface actually and I do have a sort of a black tray. I used to have something else but it didn't really look that good on camera and the black offers quite a good background and you can see all the details of uh, the orchids that I work with. Of course my sink here with normal water and this is the faucet for the osmosis system that I run and you've already seen the osmosis system in a previous video here it is down below and of course some other cleaning products stuff that I kind of use sometimes and PS it's a really weird day today in the sense that there's sun but there's also clouds and storm and we're gonna have some funky effects throughout this video in this cabinet again we have some stuff that I use kind of sometimes some ceramics uh, some fertilizer and so on I do not want to show you that side because there are some things that I might use in a future video I don't want to give it away. So this is the kitchen corner, let's call it like that. As you can see, I have my buckets there and a Vanda soaking. Once she's done soaking, she drips in the sink and then up she goes in her place that you will see further on. This is my garbage can, it's full. <laughs> Okay, and here is where I usually keep my ceramics and leka in two separate beans. I have a third one for the already used medium that I boil and then I put it in that container and I let it outside on the terrace to dry. It is actually a mixture between ceramics and leka and this is why I don't mix it with these beans. With some orchids, I don't want to use a mix and I would rather have them separately. Here is the mini greenhouse, you might already know it and if you took a close look in that cabinet, you saw the lamp, I used to have it above. It's out of function right now because my humidifier is done and uh, yeah, I didn't buy a new one. So it's not functional right now, but it's here whenever I need it, I can totally use it. And then of course we go to the shelving area, which you might have already seen. But there you go, these are my orchids all arranged on my shelves. Most of them are on these shelves. I am not left with many orchids. <laughs> so these shelves, as you can see, can accommodate more orchids. Cute guy alert. <laughs> that was horrible, I'm sorry. So as I was saying, you already know the shelves. I did make a video on my light fixtures. If you missed that video and would like to see it, I will add it in the description below. I'll add a link to it so you can watch that video as well if you're interested. So this shelf you pretty much always see in my videos. We also have the upper shelf and this is the shelf with kind of new orchids and also phalaenopsis orchids because they don't really need that much light and right now the sun is shining so they do have a lot of light or actually adequate light because they're phalaenopsis and here's a guy you didn't see I received it but I didn't do a mail unboxing lately because I didn't really receive much lately it's winter it's kind of cold so yeah uh, but that is a cactus, really pretty cactus. I think it's called a fishbone cactus and I am missing the scientific name. But yeah, that's that guy. And yeah, Habib, you asked me about it. Here it is. It's doing fine. It's not dying. It's actually growing a lot of aerial roots. And here we have the Hoya Bella. Do you remember it? And again, whoever sent it to me, thank you so much. Look at it. She didn't bloom yet, but she's looking quite, quite pretty. I really like it. Okay, down below. Well, down below we have some Fusarium infected orchids. Some, not all of them. But I really didn't find an adequate spot for them, so I keep them here. Back there is the Psychopsis. We don't have any type of news on this guy. I think he's actually doing bad. I see some spotting and some stuff on the leaves that I don't like. He has Fusarium. Not sure if he's gonna make it, that is that. We're gonna buy another one, what can we do? So down below we have a few more orchids. I need to move those dendrobiums because they do require more light, but I didn't figure out where to put them just yet. 
Moving over, this is the second shelf, and as you can see, it is quite bright. It does not have light. In the future, I will mount some light as well under this shelf, but right now, there's really no need to. There's quite a lot of sun, particularly after 11 o'clock. Sun comes and hits directly this shelf, but also that shelf. And I have here, for now, the Phalaenopsis species. They do seem to enjoy a little bit more light than the hybrids. They're always done better in higher amounts of light for me, that's why I put them there. But as you can see, I do not have much cattleyas on this shelf. And this is because they're all there. And up above, you can see we have the Angraecums and other kind of highlight plants. We have the vanilla in the back there. Let me just show you how big she is now. Yay, she's climbing. Pretty soon she's gonna run out of the rod. What can we do? The big Angraecum is there. The smaller Angraecum is here. The Catacetum orchids are all here. We have the Pendant Dendrobium, the Anosmum, doing quite well here. I'm still wondering if I should put it outside. I'm not sure. He's still growing. That's why I keep it here in the warmer weather, because he's not done growing. What are you doing? So yeah, this is what's on this shelf. Here's the, the Hoya Australis, by the way. She's doing fine. But as you can see, she's red only when new leaves are forming. And as they grow, they do change color. They take these pretty colors. It's a shame that it's not pink, but it's okay. Down there, we have the lower light orchids, although it's pretty bright at the moment. We have the Moltoniopsis. This will be a place for low light, cool growing orchids. It's quite cool because as you can see, my floor has tiles, so it's kind of cool. And of course, there's not a lot of light. I do have some artificial light here as well, but nothing Cattleya-like or anything. So this will be a place for Moltoniopsis, cool growers, low light growers, and so on. And of course, you know my IKEA stand. And as you can see, my Hoyas have wrapped around it quite nicely. I still need to direct them here and there, but they're doing their thing so bright. They're growing like I expected them to grow and they're doing quite fine. Okay, on this side, we have the Cymbidiums. Right now, I will keep them in the greenhouse until springtime. And when temperatures are pretty high, I will probably move them outside and probably they will be grown outside. Even if it's hot, even if it's cold, I think they're gonna do okay. So they're probably not gonna live in the greenhouse, but this year, they will stay here. Up above, we have another shelf. And as you can see, pretty bright shelf. We have all sorts of Cattleyas here. We have Brassavolas. We do have another uh, Dendrobium Phalaenopsis, and I will move the other Dendrobiums here as well to enjoy the sunshine. And as the sun goes into the sky, it will light up a lot of this shelf. And pretty much this is the brightest corner of my greenhouse. Of course, hung there are my Vanda orchids. And yes, that is sunburn because I try to keep them outside the summer. It really didn't go so well. They're still losing the leaves that got major sunburn. That is that. And up above, of course, we have my AC, which works on hot right now because it's kind of cold. But in the summertime, it keeps my greenhouse pretty cool. It is actually doing a good job, so I'm happy. Okay, further on, this is the Phalaenopsis corner because Phalaenopsis, yet again, don't need a lot of light. So here they do not receive direct sunshine, but this is a western window. In the summertime, they do get direct sunshine, but in the afternoon, so that's fine. Right now, they kind of get bright light, indirect light. It doesn't appear that way on camera, but it is quite bright. All of my greenhouse is really bright right now. And underneath them, we have a couch. So yeah, I have a couch in my greenhouse. Next to it, we have, yeah, I don't know where to put these right now. I need to find some room in the cabinets. I don't know, I might add some cabinets there. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is my couch. I sit here, I have my coffee, and usually on the table there is some coffee. But today I was kind of thirsty. No problem, another cup of coffee will reappear on that table today, probably. And this table is actually made, and it has wheels. I can move it around. And yeah, usually I do my laptop stuff, work stuff. I check orchids for mites on this table and so on. Just a little place for me to sit and have direct view on this shelf. And that's about it. There we have the door. The floor, as you can see, is made out of tiles. And I was pondering to put something else, maybe something green on the floor. But then again, this is so easy to swipe and mop. I think I'm just gonna keep it, I don't know. And that's it. Going back to the kitchen area, the wall needs tiles pretty badly because I risk the chance of actually inflating this countertop here. 
and I saw some tiles that I really, really, really like, but I need to make a budget for it. It's not gonna happen this year, so that is that. But it will happen next year. I do intend to put tiles here. This is why I was telling you it's not ready. Um, as you can see, the buckets are hiding something that's not finished there. It's not finished, but there we go. Oh, I forgot to mention the windows. I have windows. So the window in the back there opens. I never open it because I don't really need it, but this window opens. Let's get closer to it. So in summertime, usually I open this window. I have a net and I also open a window near the door that has a net as well. There are two windows there that I open and this is how I get my draft in the summertime. In the winter time, I don't open them that much. Today is kind of sunny, so I will open them, but the ventilation is really only up to the AC to provide and it does a decent job. I cannot complain. Also, uh, I will work on some lighting under the shelves here, not for orchids, but for ambience. I had an LED strip, it fell. I need to glue it somehow. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, you know the IKEA stands, this is where I soak the two little vendas that I just ordered. We have the Hoyas growing in pots and climbing on the IKEA stand. And also, oh, you remember these guys? Yeah, they're the cactus seedlings. I need to find a place for them where it's sunny. They don't usually sit here, they usually sit on the other side, but yeah, we'll move them. I just cleaned the greenhouse. And that is about it on my greenhouse. And as you can see, this is not a proper greenhouse. I have walls, so I cannot hose everything. I have um, a roof. <laughs> you might not know the roof, it has lights, spotlights. So yet again, light does not come from above. It's a grow room, if you will, but I don't like to title my videos with grow room because if you do a search with grow room on Google and you look at the pictures, you'll see what I mean. People usually search for a totally different plant when searching for a grow room and it's not an orchid, so that's why I don't call it a grow room, but it is a, it is a, it is a grow room. You might want to call it a sunroom. It might be a sunroom, but it, it's really not in the house. It is on a terrace, so I'm not sure how to call this. I'm just gonna call it a greenhouse, okay? Okay. And that's about it for the tour i hope you enjoyed it in the future of course it will be a little better i'm hoping to do something about the seco i'm not sure if i can unless i put more plants in here i don't want to put rugs on the floor because it's not sanitary i don't want to put curtains on those windows because i need the light i don't want to do a lot of stuff that will cancel the echo simply because it's not going to be beneficial for my orchids so i don't know i hope we can live with it but I guess if I add more plants and more orchids, the echo will not be so strong. There we go, that's the solution, buy more plants. So yeah, as we go, I'm gonna complete the greenhouse and I'll keep you up to date. Do you want me to start again the monthly greenhouse tours and show you the plants themselves? Today I didn't show you a lot of the plants and how they're doing. It wasn't an update on my orchids. It was just uh, showing you the greenhouse as it is right now. This is where I do my stuff. This is where I work. That's my tripod there and so on. So yeah, let me know if you want the monthly greenhouse updates in which we will focus on plants that might not be blooming or anything, but just to show you how they're doing. I don't know, let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this. It took a while, but here it is. This is the greenhouse tour. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid and plants videos and don't forget to turn on notifications. You'll find that little bell next to the subscribe button because I'm not sure if YouTube actually shows you whenever I post a video. In that way, you will get notifications. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Come on, honey, you can do it. Come on. By the way, it has seven flowers this year. Last year, it had six. And he's looking prettier this year. I really love this guy. And yes, I call my orchids he or she just because I am Latin. And we don't have it. We only have female and male words. And bulbophyllum is a male word. So that's why this is a guy. And he really is a handsome one. Whee!